Alec, this is the SR20 R4 Type B sliding head lathe from Star. First thing that jumps out at me is the amount of tools this has got. It looks like it's pretty, pretty uh, complex in there. Yeah, we can hang uh, approximately 41 tools in this machine. So it is very flexible. It can do quite complicated components. Alec, now tell me about the, the B axis on this machine. That allows you to do five axis machining. It does. We've got full five axis capability on the R4. Uh, it allows us to do angled features on the main spindle and on the sub spindle. So we've got three tools for working on the front and opposing three tools for working on the back spindle. Now, you say it can work on the front and the back. What, what can it move to in terms of degrees? Just 0 to 90? Or? We've got 135 degree of stroke on the B-axis. So you could tackle kind of negative angles as well? For sure. We, we, we take it into the negative direction when we're working on the sub-spindle. On the main spindle, we've got sort of zero up to 90 degrees. And, and how popular, when people buy a machine or buy, buy the 20, what, how many use that feature? It's, it's quite popular because not only for angled work, but even if you're just doing cross working operations or front working operations, to do it with the B axis, it's, it, it's still very, very quick. Now, when you've got 41 tools on a machine, you, you can do you know, lots of operations all together at once, potentially. So therefore, you're reducing the cycle times. But you mentioned to me earlier about the fact that the, the, the platens are the tools are closer together to make it even more productive. On our other SR machines, we have an L-shaped platen. On the R4, we have a zero-shaped platen. This configuration compacts all the tools, making them very close to the bar stock. So the idle time, i.e. changing from tool to tool, is very reduced on this machine. Now, just I, I know it's a, tw it's, it's a 20 machine. Is that, that means it's a 20 mil bar capacity machine. We can stretch it to 7 8 22.2. But yes, it's a 20 mil. And the amount of axes that the machine has? It's a nine axis machine, but it's still a two channel program by two channels. So it's not a difficult machine to program, even with the uh, fully programmable B axis. Now I keep mentioning the word production, but that is predominantly what a sliding head lathe is about. You, there, is, there is a feature or a function within the control that you have at Star that can improve uh, cycle times even further. Can you tell us about that? That function is called Star Motion Control. And what that basically does is it reformats the program and it changes the acceleration and deceleration used within that program to reduce the idle time even further so you can shave seconds off cycles. So I'm, 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 I'm gathering from this, if I was to program the machine to make a part and it took maybe 30 seconds, there's then an option for me to, to use that software to get even more time out of uh, the process. Yeah, you start with the standard program, you then run it through the Star Motion Control software, it reformats it, and then you can have like a 5% saving on the, on the cycle time. So it's, it's always worthwhile if you've got that function in the machine to run it, run your program through that function just to make sure. That, that, that's, that, that's a big saving, what 5% you can expect that? It can be, you'd be surprised on even really short cycle times how much it can shave off the, uh, the cycle time. Okay, to summarize, who's buying these types of machines from you, Alec, what, what are they making? We've got a lot of machines making medical parts. General, some contractors like this machine because it's very versatile, it's very easy to set. So it's been a very popular model over the last sort of three years we've been selling it. And they come with the, the FMB bar feed as well? 99.9% .9 of all our machines go out with FMB bar feeders. Um, and we've got several different types of bar feeder that can suit this particular model for sure. What's also impressive is, is where it's housed. We're here at your, your new place in Derby. You've got a great training center here as well. When engineers come and buy machines like this, they need to know they've got the support and the infrastructure in place. You've got that here as well, haven't you? We've got a brand new classroom with all the latest technology in it. So the idea is we can, we can when the machine's been installed, we can have the setters and the operators here uh, at Rainsway, we can do all the programming training, show the machines in the tech centre. So it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work really well, I think, for our customer base. And what we also find commonly these days is engineers, they, they don't want to wait for machines today. They, they, they want to ring you up. They're not interested one day, and then the next they've got a compelling reason to buy a machine. They ring you up and they want it tomorrow. These machines are carried in stock. And in fact, this machine's in stock. So that, that that's a good, uh, uh, puts you in a good position as well, doesn't it? The machines are in stock. The bio feed is in stock. So if we do get that urgent uh, capacity requirement, Star GB can certainly deliver. Thanks, Alec. You're welcome.